I know. I know. My eyes have witnessed thy beauty of Emily. I need to be set free. This prison is killing me. I know, my friend. I will do my best. Welcome back to the Evening Bell. I'm your host, Jake Bell. We have a real ringer for you tonight, as we have a special guest. His name is Luke Sutton and he stars as Palamon in The Knight's Tale. Welcome, Luke. It's great to be here, Jake. Well, as, as being one of the first viewers of the movie, I'm, I have many questions, and my first one being, can you uh, discuss more your role as Palamon and how the conflict with Arsite can relate to many viewers in today's world's conflicts? Yeah, of course, Jake, of course. But first off, I'd like to thank you very much, both you and your viewers, for having me on the show. Oh, no problem. It's always, it's always awesome to have you. Yeah, thank you very much for that. You know, I had a, I had a lot of fun playing Palmon because he was a very determined character, both on script and off of script, because I was forced to memorize a lot of more difficult lines, more difficult language that I'm not used to, and Palmon as a person was really, he's a very determined and diligent worker. You know, he worked to escape the prison that he was stuck in along with our site. He worked as hard as he possibly could to gain Emily is kind of a victory for him internally and I think that that shows a lot of who Palamon is as a character because over our site who seemingly just begs throughout the script he really is a I believe a really a stronger character and I believe that our director did a really good job and our both of our writers and our director did a great job at showing that you really need to try to be like Palamon because in many ways he is an extremely strong character and his beliefs are very steadfast and chivalry, knowledge, wisdom and he thinks that anything is possible as long as he tries as hard as he possibly can and I tried to do that with my acting as well. Well after, after seeing the film it was definitely obvious that Palamon was trying to relate those themes and I think the viewers will definitely agree. One of the things you mentioned though was that Palamon strived for trying to win over Emily especially with his counterpart Arsite. So if you want to mention how Emily and Palamon can be uh, almost an example of, of what people can strive for in life today. Yeah, I'd love to, Jake. I'd love to. So, Jake, I think the main thing that viewers really have to focus on is that Palamon's character traits really help him to try to relate to Emily. Because Scarlett and I, Scarlett Johansson, the person that played Emily, we really worked hard to establish what women were like back in this time period that we're trying to portray in the film. And the directors and I tried to really work together to try to establish what women were like. And Emily, as a prime example of what a woman is back in this time, was more objectified by both Palamon and Arset as we were fighting. As Palamon saw her out of the castle window, out of the prison, he immediately thought of her as an object to marry. And as soon as he told Arset about her, he thought the same exact thing because women aren't really seen, love isn't really there. It's mainly just about, okay, who can I marry? Who can I have sex with now? And it's really not about love in this time at all. It's just about the object of women. And Emily is an object just like our site's property is and Palamon's property is. But Palamon does it in a much more respectful way because immediately he doesn't only seek out the lust in Emily. He thinks about her kind of as a person and something that he wants to win over so that he can marry her. That's a very great point, Luke. One of the things you mentioned was the role of the, of the divine in the movie. You being a devout Christian, do you want to uh, explain and discuss what it was like to play a character where many of the events that occurred were so influenced by the supernatural? You know, Drake, that's very true. I go to church every Sunday, very devout Christian, but you know, in these times, people were very paganistic. And that was almost difficult for me to settle down with a acting as Palamon because these people in these days relied completely on supernatural gods. And mainly Palamon and Arsite really relied on Venus. 
and that's shown mainly in the scene that you guys will see in Jake's scene, where I'm praying in a cavern for the battle between Arcite and I, and I'm praying to Venus so that I will win. And I want to win extremely badly because I want to win over Emily so that I can marry her one day because that's all I've wanted throughout most of the story, obviously. So, Palamon really wants to rely on the gods and he's asking the gods for favors so that he can win. But the thing that doesn't really get emphasized as much is Emily's role with the gods. So, Emily really relies on the gods as kind of a guiding path and she visits the gods and she's shown what path she should follow, and she listens to this path, and she doesn't really get to decide it. So that talks more about Emily's role as a woman. And I really think that these gods are a big part of the story, Jake. They're very important throughout the story. That's a great point, Luke. And I'm sure in, in the film it was, it was very difficult for you to emulate a character whose beliefs were so different from yours, and I certainly give you a lot of credit for that. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jake. And for those of you here in the audience, and also those of you sitting at home, we have a short clip of Luke Sutton in The Knight's Tale. Alas, the day I was born, though I do not wish to say my own name. By right, it is our sight. For others, know me as Philistine. But that name means nothing. Oh, I burn for the love of my dear Emily. Oh, how I wish to see her eyes. You are the cause that brings death upon me. How could you? I trusted you. You just confessed your love for my lady. You wicked traitor, you foul being. Upon this you will suffer much pain and regret. You've cheated us with this game. You're so faith for possessing such a pretended name. We must fight until death, for it is you or it is me. So let it so be. I will slay you unless you revoke your love for my woman. Now remember my name, Palamon, your sworn enemy. Well, Luke, it's been great having you on tonight. Thank you so much, Dave. It's been a real pleasure being on the show. Anytime. And for those of you sitting at home and here in the audience, make sure you go see The Knight's Tale starring Luke Sutton, coming to theaters next Friday. A knight I am. A most distinguished man, who from the day on which I first began to ride abroad, I followed chivalry, truth, honor, generousness, and courtesy. Despite these values I don't have it made, I've worked hard and slain money with my blade. Even if time and strength ought to be spent, for love I'll go to a great extent. Any struggle or hardship that I face, it is love that will take me to that place. It is love that will guide me on my way. The love lets my all my rage be set at bay. I will fight no matter the steps ahead, though there may be a lot of things I dread. Success is the only thing that I wish by being strong without being selfish. From when the time comes up for me to fight, I will show dignity and stand with might, no matter the cost that is required. I am a true knight, not uninspired. Unlike some, my values are held quite true, and when in question, they are right on cue. All that I have done comes from far beyond, a power greater than the one that just spawned. For my true God, who watches with his eye like a hawk watching his prey from the sky, all that I have learned must be owed to him, for what I read in books is somewhat slim. My skills are fit and ready for battle, for with help from others I won't speak prattle. Greatness will be earned by love and much help, for a knight great as I will never yelp. I loved her first and told him of my grief. When love is the prize, it is all the brief. How could another be so fond of her? It is me who she wants, I know for sure. Nothing but my life and oh so great strength, a most beautiful creature with great length. I know she would love me, how could she not? For I am the most powerful, I thought. All I want in my life is her desire. She is great, a flame from within a fire. Oh, how I wish to see her very soon. The angels will sing in a harmonic tune over her beauty and amazing might. I still cannot believe this crazy sight. Although my name carries a noble trait, except my appearance lacks a breastplate. Although my clothes are extremely soiled, the attitude I have is not spoiled. Do not let my look be your assumption, for thoughts like that can be your consumption. If my look is not up to night's standards, 
My steps shall show those who wander what thoughts are slandered. What a tough conflict for which is in store. I have a lot of doubts, but nothing more. My passion and charisma is lurking. Thoughts and desires are within irking. My chest heaving, breath by breath, day by day. My thoughts and prayers are far from the astray. It comes down to my love in this tough fight. Night by day, night by night, what a great sight.